Hanya Fairy Tale. Once upon a time, there were still up to ten suns shining everywhere during the day. It was so hot that it was smoking. The sea and the lake dried up, and people could barely survive. A young man named Hou Nghe climbed to the top of Kinlin Mountain and used his divine power to shoot down nine suns with his magical crossbow. Because of that, everyone in the area valued and respected Hou Nghe like a hero. Many people came to ask to learn his magic of bow and arrow. Among of them, Bong Mong is a person with a bad heart. Some time after shooting down nine sons, Hou Nghe got married. Hou Nghe's wife was beautiful and kind. Her name was Hang Nghe. One day, Hou Nghe went to Kenlin Mountain to visit a friend. On the way, he happened to meet a royal mother passing by. The royal mother gave Hou Nghe the elixir of immortality. It is said that if you take this medicine, you will immediately come to heaven and become a fairy. Hou Nghe still wanted to be with Hang Nghe, so he had to temporarily give the immortality medicine to Hang Nghe to keep. Unexpectedly, Bong Mong uncovered the place where Hang Nghe kept the elixir. A few days later, Hou Nghe took his students out hunting. Bong Mong pretended to be sick and asked to stay. Waiting for Hou Nghe and the other students to leave, Bong Mong grabbed the sword and forced Hang Nghe to give him the immortality medicine. In emergency, Hang Nghe drank on the elixir. After taking the medicine, Hang Nghe felt light flying off the ground and into the sky. But because she still missed her husband, Hang Nghe chose the moon, the place closest to the earth, to stay and live her fairly life. That evening, Hou Nghe came home, heard the story, and in pain, he raised his head to the night sky and called his wife's name. At that time, he discovered that the moon was incredibly bright that night, and there was also a shadow of person who looked similar to Hang Nghe. Hou Nghe came to the back garden, where Hang Nghe spent much time while she was leaving, set up an incense table, Let's don't eat the fruits in the fruits that Hang Nghe usually like to eat the most as the way to send them to Hang Nghe on the moon that he knew was remembering him. Everyone in the area heard that Hang Nghe has ascended to the moon to become a fairy. They also set up incense tables under the moonlight, praying to the kind-hearted Hang Nghe for luck and peace. Since then, the custom of worshipping the moon on the Mid-Autumn Festival has been spread among the people.